Welcome back to Rina TV. My name is Rina Sawayama and today I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of the STFP video. If you haven't seen it yet, obviously go check it out in the description below. It's iconic. That's my thing. All right, so this is how we filmed STFU in five steps. Step one, you need a concept. Concept. So the concept of the video is really stemming from the song and the song is about telling someone to I actually did a video on what the song was about. So if you want to check it out, click in the description below. The initial idea was that there would be a sort of inside out sort of thing. I don't know if you've seen Pixar's Inside Out, but it's about the drivers inside your head that govern your responses to things. So instead of like joy and sadness, I wanted to do justice and empathy. And I wanted to show like the inner battle that goes on every time there's a microaggression thrown at you. Sadly, Rianne White, the original director, had a really bad accident and we had to change the concept a little bit And um, when we started working with Ali Kerr. That is when the date scene got developed into something bigger. What are the times that I wanted to tell someone to shut the fuck up? I'd actually just come back from a wedding. We were in the queue to the bar where this guy, he goes to me, oh, so you're, where are you from? I'm from London. Oh, no, no, you know, where, where are you from from? Uh, well, my, my, my parents are from Japan. I was I was actually born in Japan. I like moved here when I was four and he cuts me off. Then it starts. Magical conversations that have sparked the inspiration for STFU. He then goes on to ask me about all the restaurants around my area that I might know about. And all of them are Japanese, by the way. Have you been to that Japanese place, uh, Wagamama's? FYI, just because I'm Japanese, it's not like I'm eating ramen in the morning, sushi in the afternoon, Japanese curry in the evening. I might love all those things, but it doesn't mean that that is literally what constitutes my entire diet. And he's like, that's so funny, you're Japanese, because I'm writing a fiction and um, it's actually told through the eyes of a Japanese woman. It's kind of like a new age memoirs of a geisha, which is kind of cool. It, it's funny because um, I've shown my Japanese uh, friends my book. They really didn't have that much good things to say, but I feel like, you know, Japanese are very bad at giving criticism. And I'm there like, okay, I need to write about this because this happens to Asian people all the time. Not just Asian people, I know, but I mean, it's pretty easy. I was just like, I'm just gonna write all the things that people have said to me into a scenario where people will think what they're saying to a Japanese person is flattering when it's totally not. And so that was the core inspiration. Right, step number two, script. Uh, Isabel Rogers is a friend of mine. She does this amazing play. It's like com comedy and music combined. So I really wanted to get her involved in this and like try and put a comedic spin on all these like tragic things that are said to me. Something that would really ignite the energy of the whole music video. Rina wanted to do a, a script film with like microaggressions. So she came up with a date idea and Loads of the stuff in the script is actually verbatim experiences of what she's had. Yeah, a lot of it's verbatim oh, really? what people have said to me. No, no. Originally we were going to make him way more empathetic, and like, but then in like a tiny yeah, shot yeah. for a video, mm -hmm. you've got to get straight to the point. When we finished the script, and um, we were thinking about casting. If you had someone really kind of just straightly saying the lines without there being any humour, it would just look really problematic and and racist, so I was really keen to have like a really skilled comic performer saying these lines. She heard about this guy called Ben Ashenden, she'd seen a couple of his stand-ups, so I checked him out and I was like, yep, yeah, perfect, absolutely need to go get him. He sent a self-tape, which was so hilarious, he'd already added in some improv bits, and I think it's always amazing when actors and like, especially comedic actors can really put their own spin on like a horrible character. I was gonna say right at the beginning, but I'll say it now. Mm -hmm. I am an artist. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fan fiction piece, as in I'm a fan of it. But it's from the perspective, it's like literally through the eyes of a little Japanese woman. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm hoping to get like, the woman from Grey's Anatomy to do, do what you book at some point. Um, and... Cassandra Oh. Uh, huh? Huh? Oh? Sandra? Like no, no, she's Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like me. Japan Japanese. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so funny. And by the way, he's like not like that at all. He's like super nice and super respectful and just really wanted to play this character well. You can just interrupt me, by the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To so, be honest, like it was pretty much done in like 10 minutes because he nailed it. We were just so excited to have him on board. You know what, you, um, you remind me of her, actually. But like... Yes, yeah, perfect, yeah. perfect, perfect, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Step three is the people on set 
I will single-handedly say that the people in your team are the most important ingredients to every single successful music video. If they're good, I'm fine. It can be shot on an iPhone. This is shot on an iPhone right now. Everything's gonna be fine. The STFU video was hands down my favorite video to film, to write, to direct. The whole thing was just amazing. So I just wanna shout out everyone. Ben Ashenden, the man at the date, who is unnamed. So Shola and Shante, who are amazing dancers. Joe, the editor, Ali, who is the co-director, who I've worked with before on the Where You Are video, when we had absolutely no budget, we were stealing a red camera, basically. Don't tell anyone. We managed to pull that video off for 500 quid, and now we've got a little bit more budget to play with. Mei Ling, who is the producer. Chris, the incredible DOP. Glam Squad, Tomomi, everyone who's amazing. Izzy, Kusi, I mean, like, if you look at the end of STFU video, which you should, because it's in the description box below, you will see that there's a lot of people involved in creating that video. So I just want to say a personal thank you so much for making it amazing. Step four, let's talk about rehearsing. We actually had no time to rehearse the dance. So Joelle and Josh, the choreographers, had a really complex dance routine. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, <laughs> Go, step, Bye. step, hit, one. Sorry. Yeah. Is yeah. that right? That is it. Yeah. So you remember but I was like, right, the shoot is tomorrow and actually it's way more important to look comfortable in the dance than try and attempt this really complicated choreography. If you look at the choreography, which side note, I really want you guys to replicate if you can. It's actually six, six, quite seven, simple um, and two, quite, um, I would say, like shape-based. In music videos, what matters is where you can cut. So if you have like a hand that's moving this way, then you can cut like sideways. You can do all these exciting things. is so fucking hard guys i'm not gonna lie i was quite intimidated when i was trying to rehearse with ben i think i need to i need to work sorry i need to work on myself <laughs> when someone just really stuns you with how talented they are it's really hard not to be like oh my god like ben made me laugh so hard so many times why don't you do j-pop oh that's a shame i love um pom 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 oh okay <laughs> 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 like if you need that on the day, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> if you can replicate that. One. <laughs> and how the um, set was set up is that there was a revolving camera that was going around the whole time. It was a 360. And so whenever the camera was like slightly behind me, I'd just like cry with laughter. Have you seen the one in Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> Literally. It's just me going, I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm being relaxed about it. And then by the time it was coming around here, I was like, I'm angry. I'm angered well, by these no aggressions. Oh my god, fuck. Sorry, I didn't ask you that. I literally assumed I met you. What's your favourite Pokemon? Um, because my favourite English flower is Rose. I just can't stop laughing at Ben. He's like so funny. And he's like, he just comes out with lines that like completely throw me off. It's so cathartic to be able to like make this funny because when it's happening, it's so ridiculous. Like I think he completely understood the sort of person this was. Mm. And like, it's the sort of person that loves, loves Japan, but like loves the idea of a Japanese person rather than like actually just bothering to see beyond that. Some of the lines have been said by people who then eventually became my friends and they now know that you fucking shouldn't say that. Step five is the filming process. We filmed it in one day. It felt like two, it was so long. We started at like, 7 a.m. It's surprising how long things take to set up. 85% of the day is just spent waiting if you're um, the talent. Nothing. I was in one music video that I got cut from as an extra. I remember spending about 14 hours on set. I got pulled in to do like 30 seconds of running. Go away. I can show up. Go away. And then that was it. So I'm always really mindful of that. Um, it's really hard to speed things up because health and safety wise, you don't want to speed lighting fixtures and you want to take your time to make sure that everything's safe. This is nice. No, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. <laughs> Hold on to her hair. Hold on to her hair. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm going to fart. I, I literally feel like I've just been exercised, like, like the demons come out. I'm not gonna lie, when the choreography scene happened, that was 7pm, and by that time it had been 12 hours on set, and I was fucking exhausted. 
There is a blackout set, so everything is painted black. It's an infinity wall, so the walls are curved like that, and everything was hazy. You can't see the floor. You can't see the walls. You can't see the corner of the room, which means that you're completely destabilized. That, that way? That's that way. Yeah, this way? Please, thanks. And I was wearing these like, bloody like six inch Louboutin heels. So hard to balance in the heel, these heels. Bye, bye. When you've trained for a couple weeks or something, then you're all right. I don't know, I think basically when you're in heels, you're automatically back, so you need to keep your core so tight. So it's almost like doing crunches for like three minutes. And then afterwards you feel like, <sighs> and also I'm like trying to look in the camera and like lip sync at the same time. <laughs> And that's really hard, it's a lot. Okay. But sometimes if you're not prepared physically, mentally for it, then it can really show on film. You don't want to be the artist that fucks up their own shoot. Oh, girls, oh my God. It was good. You only have to do it a couple more times. And... You'll do it 12 more times. No, 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 honestly. No. She's like, this is, oh, yeah. this is what Charlie's Angel should have been. This is and that is a wrap. Wow, um, I think it's like nine o'clock now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only sound I can make right now. Honestly, like this team was amazing and I, I'm so excited for this to come out. Fun fact, we did not eat any of the sushi on the table. So this is the moment to eat, please. Okay, okay. Because it was bought the day before and you should never eat sushi past the day it was bought. Mm -hmm. Here you go, burn some water. It's raw fish, just don't do it. Later on when I had to crawl through the table, I flick my hair up. And I swear to God, everyone was covered in sushi because the hair just like flicked all the sushi up and then onto everyone else. That was a pretty iconic moment. And that is how you make a music video. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I'm so interested to know what you guys want me to talk about in the Ringer TVs. This is all about giving you more insight and I really love connecting with you pixels. So please let me know in the comments below. And if you celebrate Christmas, have an amazing Christmas with your family or your chosen family. I will see you in 2020. Mwah. He then gets his wife and he's like, oh, Marjorie, Marjorie, come here, come here, darling. Oh, my God. I've just met this lovely Japanese lady. On and on it fucking goes. Oh, my gosh.